<laughs> Hi guys. All right, so I ordered a box of um, Life magazines. I know if anybody knows me, they know that I'm a collage artist. And so first thing I want to do is like, dig through magazines and I became quite obsessed with Life magazine and the fragility of the paper for one of the things. It was a challenge. It was a huge challenge to learn how to work with it. And I accomplished that and I'm going to do a bunch of videos to to kind of just walk through how I my trouble shot that and learned how to overcome a lot of the problems with the paper. But in the meantime, I found a new thing that I'd love to do, and that is to look through these old magazines. So I order them from eBay, like a lots. They have they sell them in uh, lots of 15, 12, whatever. So I just got one in, and I haven't even looked at it. So I was thinking that it would be cool. If we did it right here, right off my box. Let's look. Box. Yeah. Oh. No, right. Yeah, All right, number one. And then I, like, I'm just going to look at titles right now and kind of flip it and see what I have. But then later I want to go and I want to turn the camera around and kind of face it down to where we can go page by page. And, uh, some of these are just. Mm, they're gone. They're gone forever. You got my blankie. I think that one is here. All right. Wow. This has 12 pages of color. And it is a life, December 29th of 1947. It costs 15 cents. Uh, and a yearly subscription with $5.50. Look at that. Beautiful color. So this was printed. See, this is what amazes me is because this was printed in 1947 and it look at it it is just gorgeous the print on it and the color it just held mm. gosh all right and so this uh, usually it tells you something about what's inside and i think all of these are from the 40s. I like getting them from the 40s. Uh, I'm not going to look through all of this, but sometimes you can get, it has 12 pages of color, so look at her. Year-round my, Miami Beach resident is bad. <laughs> Just a cigarette model. And same, same. But what a cool shot. Is my camera trying to get blurry? Anyway, I really like that. Let's see. 1947. You know, I have found some of the most amazing things advertisement. See this right here. This is it. I have. This is a series that was went into these magazines over the years and they started in the 40s and i have um like 20 of them probably so far and so when i find them i grab them because yeah that it's for beer it's not for a beer it's just beer where did y'all go get back in there yeah it's just beer and in in each one is like numbered like this is number 11 and I have number two, four, ten, all the way up to like forty something. And like so, there's a lot of them. So I'm hmm, goals. I'm a simple child. The little things get me. Like Western Electric. Look at that amazing. Weren't those the days to be an operator? That was something. See, as a kid, <laughs> this was a job you saw on TV and movies. And so to be an operator. Well, something, wasn't it? Look, the thinkers. Albert Einstein, the Institute's most famous member, gives his first lecture in its only classroom. Look at that. Look. See, these will be fantastic to go through. I'm excited. One, number one, we're here. And I'm already excited. What else? <laughs> and this, so White Rock, 
basically loved to have that fairy in all of their ads. And she was a cheating little fairy. She, You see the wife over there. She pissed off. All of them. The wife's scared because this little naked fairy is coming to get the man. All right. Make sure that's all wet. Now's the one. Life. Miami. Ooh, Miami. That's blue. I love that. All right. Number two is a thick one. Oh, my. Nightclub Girls. This is December 15th of 1947. And this is like the double the thickness of the last one. This is huge. On the back, this is a Christmas issue. So you get this fantastic burned up looking sand. <laughs> Dreaming of eating all the little children's chocolates. <laughs> nah, look, you can subscribe. These are in excellent condition. I want to know how often those beer ads, because they're not the same ones either. Like when I find them, it's like cha ching. When does this come? Himalayan climb. Explorers called this peak a photograph, but was not climbed. It was one of the most inaccessible mountains with its form. The wall of the Himalayas is peak, which makes up a wall and nearly all its floor because there are no passes or passages, whatever, between them. Okay, so this is the the one where the people you see now where the the climbers recently had that long line to get to the peak. <laughs> Remember, and they were like dying because there's no freaking oxygen there and it was taking too long because it was like a traffic jam at the top of this mountain. I do believe this was before they'd ever touched it. Looks like people were hurt. Slipped down a 13 foot precipice. He was unhurt. And How do you live after a 1,300 foot fall? That's what I want to know. Can't even fall off a curb without knocking myself. So this is going to be fun. Okay. Oh, see? Look at this dude. Oh, this is the nightclub's issue. Okay, look at that. So the, the first gentleman's club. Look at the trying to look at her. Look at her. He trying to look at her. Them fishnet hoes. Yeah. Why does that look like Fraser? I don't think it's him. That one right there. <laughs> but it does. <laughs> what else? Lots of cool ads for, you know, technology. It wasn't even happening then. Uh, ooh, coral. And see, I use these for collage. Like, look at that. Beautiful. See, these are finds that I'm like, yes, yes, yes. So while I'm finding all these wonderful photographs from 1947, uh, I'm also, there's also history in here that I cannot like ignore and um, so I do want to go through it each one and document it on my YouTube channel I don't care like what we've been talking for 10 minutes now I'm on book two I could just go on and on about this Ooh, look at that it's a Santa I'm looking for a wonderful Santa I have a friend that I need to paint a Santa for and boy isn't that a good Santa oh wait I'm like, I forget I'm, I'm using a webcam so it's above my computer <laughs> Ooh, that's beautiful. And there's Norman Rockwells. Who is this? Is this Norman? No, he just signs everything. But it sure does look like him. I wonder. I found several Norman Rock Rockwells, which I, to me, that's like, what? <laughs> I got a Norman Rockwell. Because that's what he did these for anyway. He did them for the magazines. He He's an inspiration. Got that old yellow bowl. What else? 
Oh, there's another Santa. I'm going to be able to find a cool Santa face in here that's not overused today. Clark's Tender Mint. Oh, yeah. See, and I also like um, to get them um, 19, uh, before, like, 1950s. Mm -hmm. Unless they're specific as lots. Because advertising, television came out. And once television came out, the advertising went to TV. And so all these, another thick one, all these had in them were um, cigarettes and, and whiskey, pretty much. So look at him. He's beautiful. Not anymore. Royal, a royal boyhood. This issue, the Duke of Windsor. Yeah, he's a good looking man there. Look at that. See, but I don't know anything about him, but I bet I'm about to find out. And so will you. What else? Anything to stand out? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Eh. Look, 1947. Photographic fabric. So they were already doing this back then. Huh? Mm. All right, let me put that one. This will be fun. So that is three. There's 12. I'm going to try to move faster because as I go through each one individually, this is December 1st. 15 cents, 1947. The cover is Gregory Peck. Gregory Peck. Gregory Peck. Move quick. You got the Hoover ads. Yeah, this, this right here. What did they sell? The finest rules in the world. They had some of the, the craziest, beautiful. Like whoever did their like layouts and all of their ads, they did these great color blocking. They were just stunning. And um, kudos. I don't know who did those ads. Like, you don't see this kind of stuff anymore. It's gone. People aren't like everything in here is hand drawn. The art in here is just fantastic. Yeah, the creativity of coming up with the advertisements, like. This is a thing of the past. This is something. Who is this witch? And liquor, you're getting some liquor. <clears throat> Ooh, and this is nice to double page. Boogers. Isn't that pretty? I did the legs, the, I mean, no, the, the torso I did. The mannequin torso I did <clears throat> was done from an, uh, an episode of, uh, I mean, a feature on the Vanderbilt family. And they uh, had to show their homes and the, each, the, the Vander, Vanderbilt women. And so they were all through the centuries, like, have their portrait home in their homes done. And, um, it was just beautiful and laid out just like perfectly. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's the, that's the dealio. Life Magazine, November 17th. Boxers. It's about dogs. Now, look at those dogs. This one right here is a weird. Like, I kind of recognize this as being a boxer, but that's a strange looking. Maybe the ears are just too much. They're a little devil pointed, huh? These are so thick, too, man. It took some time. Like, these magazines are no joke. No joke. You get the good ads with the food. See, this is kind of mm -hmm. 
see, here's one. What's this one? This is number 10 in the series of Home Life in America about drinking beer. Number 10. Oh, can you see it? You see, they're easy to find. So I've, already, I've got two new ones. But these are paintings. These aren't pictures. These, huh? Which is too cool. Am I right? Douglas. Who's Douglas? It says Douglas with two S's. By Douglas Crockwell. So Douglas Crockwell is the artist. I guess I never really thought <laughs> it's just right there. Meow. So I really want to catch some time. Mm -hmm. Chili sauce. And they'll do these candy ads sometimes. And Polaroid has some great ads that they put in. I just love it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with all these. I just like to look through them. I just kind of instinctively ordered this. Because it's been a while. These. Another one. I have. God. Okay. So I go through so many of these. I bet you I've had. Mm, so far. Probably 60 of these magazines. Probably that I've gone through. And. Uh. Well, I came up with some grand pieces of paper, like a stack this thick <laughs> of paper that I was just like, this is priceless. This is the deal. And I um, wanted to show my mom some of it one time when we went on vacation. And so I took them in this, one of these boxes, like I just showed you that got shipped in. I didn't think it, you know, at the time, I, I just finished vacation, came home. I don't know if I left it where we were at at that cabin, but it was years later because I switched gears, started painting. I kind of put those down and moved on to doing other things. And then years later, I was like, where is my paper? And I found the mass of it, but the ones I had picked out that were like the coolest to me that I wanted to show my mom, gone. <laughs> So it's like starting over a lot of the Coke Cola ones. And there was some really beautiful ones. And I want to do something with those one day. But you know what? It just encourages me to get more of them. All right. This one is uh, from November 3rd. And it's Ballerinas. Look at them. Ballerinas. Let's see. You can see, I'm kind of skipping through here. The Great Migration. Five million Indians flee for their lives. Yeah, and see, that's the another thing that's so great about this is um, history repeats itself. And they always got these in here. What? What's that saying? <laughs> Be lovelier to love with new, perfect, fresh. Cream deodorant. Eek. <gasps> Thank you. It's cool. So yeah, we'll have fun with those ballerinas. You know, the, the photography that was... Their eye was in 47. You got to think about 47. That, that picture right there, the colors and the, it just seems progressive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who is that? Daniel Webster. Mm -hmm. Jefferson Davis. See, so this will be a good one. American past. Mm -hmm. I, I really wish.
Yeah, forest fires. You know, you can see there's TV, there's television ads. Ornsworth presents. They come out with a new line. Boom. Things are about to change. See, these are even mostly radio. They're all radio. <laughs> these are all friggin' radio. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there will be no television. Gordon, mm -hmm. Morton Soft. There's like Monsanto. At some level, when they started, when they discovered plastic, they went nuts in these magazines and just started, like, that's what they wanted to talk about, get you to buy plastic, things in plastic, cellophane in everything that changed. I would say 1950 in the television absolutely changed everything. Boom. This size big. U.S. Ambassador to Britain, Louis W. Douglas. This is uh, October 27th, 1947. Don't know him. This is what we learned. This is like history. It is history. <laughs> San Quentin. Hmm. See, there's going to be all kinds of fun stuff for us to do. I'm not even going to look through that. 20 minutes, so. Ooh. FDR. Franklin D. Roosevelt, right? Yes. In this issue, the boyhood letters of Franklin D. Roosevelt, October 6th of 1947. Look at that. So his boyhood letters are in here. This is going to be great. And, and that's the thing, like, where are these otherwise? Like, nobody gets to read these. That's it. What do we got? Oh, I've had this one before. This is a good one. And see, all of these are this thick, and I remember getting this one thinking, ooh, it's thick. All of these are that thick, which is good. It just means more information. This is Madonna Dewberry. Age of Enlightenment, fifth in a series on the history of Western culture. And this is her. This is it. I've had this one before. Um, this is another one of those fabrics. They're always on the inside cover, you see, with the color blocking. They're really good. But always on the head. The cat, sometimes I get annoyed with that because I don't want there to be a Coke ad on the cover. And it's her. Shoes. Lots of shoes. So much junk. This chapel. <clears throat> it's so much of that misogyny that Android uses. How they did some of the ads, like women getting spanked by their husbands because they didn't cook dinner correctly or something. Yeah, they go there. Um, lots of Santa Fe. I got lots of Santa Fe ads. A lot of these. But I just can't help it. I use them. And I cut them all out. Like I see, like this is a Kotex sanitary napkin. Ad, but, but look at her. Like she's, she's chilling. I would use that. Uh -huh. I don't see many coke out of it. I'm, of course, I'm just skipping. Life, Duke's daughter, Lady Sarah Fitzalan Howard, and the yeah, dog. Looking at September 8th of 1947. It's a beautiful dog. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Meat. Oh, yes. They love you to push the meat. And ham is a big deal. Like, I eat pork and eat the heck out of some margarine, please. Look at that. The canyon. It's a great shot. Isn't that where they're trying to build that damn monorail thing to go visit it now? It's like protected lands that they're just going to destroy. <laughs> I believe it is. I think I just saw something about that where this is like where life begins to uh, Native Americans and they're about to have like people rolling around above them going, look at where the world begins. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Untouched. But shouldn't be right. Oh, ancient plants, present plants and animals. Ancient plants, oh, ancient plants, present plants. That'd be cool. I look at books backwards. I don't know why I'm left handed, I guess. It's easier to turn. Mm -hmm. What's that? Why is there a... mm. On June 22nd, three British transports, which had lain motionless 25 sweltering days off the French Mediterranean coast. At Port de Bouche, France, weighed anchor and sailed for Germany. On board behind fire, wire fences were some 4,300 Jewish refugees who had made an unsuccessful, unsuccessful attempt in July to reach Palestine in a converted American steamship named Exodus. So these are. pictures of people kind of trying to get away from. The Holocaust. The leftovers of that crowd. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh -ooh. Look at that shot. That's cool. A ticker tape parade. We don't do those anymore. I don't think a ticker tape. I don't know. I've never seen one. Whatever. Oh, I love you. This is going to be fun. More radios. How many more? Two more. Where are we at? Oh, I'll make it. 30 minutes. Oh, this one is July 7th of 1947, and it is called This Pleasant Land. 12 pages of color, and it looks like it's a July 4th celebration of America. The little girl on the horse. That's pretty cool. I like her. Let's see. 12 pages of color. Mm -hmm. Look at your eye. Play clothes. They are practical, versatile, and ideal for 4th of July. Look at those play clothes. She's a real backpacker. Mm -hmm. I'm home. I can lick my finger. <gasps> Ooh, look at her. Aw, come back here. All right, well, then I'm going to save it because that was really amazing. Gangster Buzzy Seagull in his life. They were kids. They were, they were children. They show a picture of Bugsy dead on his couch. 
<laughs> but we can't handle stuff. We can't don't tell don't show us things because you know we can't handle it. But they've been showing people since the 40s of this kind of stuff. But yeah, we can't handle it. Don't don't want to show it. We're not gonna handle it. Mm -mm. Oh yeah, these are gonna be fun. <laughs> and sometimes you get amazing. I've got uh, movies. Oh my god, some of the movies I got Alice in Wonderland and um, It's a Wonderful Life, like these movie posters. Um a lot of them. I got like 50 different movie poster things. Dextrose. Dextrose is food, energy, sugar. Dextrose is food, energy, sugar. Dextrose is food, energy, <laughs> Gaslighting. <laughs> wow. Okay, um, this is the last one. August 11th of 1947. Here comes Mark. He doesn't know I'm online. Who is this? Ella Rains? I don't know who that is. Pretty. Old Pro. Sports a field, like an old magazine, sports magazine. And so many, so, so many um, liquors aren't around anymore. There are very few that made it. Aprons, they have left the kitchen and become high fashion. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah, look at that in the world sense. So they just take. Almost done. This is the last one. I'm not going through them. I was just kind of introducing the titles of them. And that's it. Let's talk about them. That was the last one. And so what I want to do is go back to each one and talk, to, look at them. Didn't show them our, our No. No. <laughs> That's a live magazine one. Yeah, I don't know where it is. So. Here it is, right here. Oh, we gotta get <laughs> my framed. <laughs> Ooh. Boom, 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 boom. The Love and Terror Cult. Yeah. Man, son. Man, son. I'll put this in the pile too. We'll go over this one Monday. That's it. I'll be back another time in a different setup with the camera down. Hopefully, it'll read it properly. I don't know. How can they last? The people that last name is Chase. That's a family name. It's so weird. <laughs> it is weird. <laughs>